Hey everybody, welcome to the XFA Fitness Channel. I'm Jeff Hirsch, I'm your trainer. Welcome back to the channel if you're already subscribed here. If you're not, please go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, give us a comment, let us know if you like this workout, let us know what you want to see, we'll try to bring you everything we can. We try to bring you as much free video on here as we can, and um, you know, we're doing our best to give as much content as possible, and we would really love it if you would come join us on ripdism.com, okay? There you're gonna find a very low monthly or yearly subscription rate, and you're gonna get the best home workout programs that you can find today, okay? In my opinion, definitely. You're gonna get a workout for every single day of the week, what you need to be doing, what you need to be eating. You can follow along. Some of our programs are 60 days long. We have shorter programs, we have longer programs, we have everything you need in there. Body weight only, we incorporate weights in some of the workouts. You don't need much equipment, so sign on there. Help support us and get in the best shape of your life all at the same time, all right? So today's workout, we have a hit workout. We're gonna be doing basically a full body workout. We're gonna be hitting all the major muscle groups here, incorporating plyometrics, some lifting with some dumbbells, some body weight moves, push-ups, etc., core moves. We're not gonna leave anything out. We're gonna leave it all on the floor. We got about a 39 minute total workout today to get it all done, all right? That includes the warm up and the cool down. Uh, I'm gonna be using 20 pound dumbbells. I recently am recovering from a broken thumb. So for me, gripping a dumbbell is, you know, it's kind of a little tentative at this point. I can do it. Uh, I don't want to go too heavy. So 20s, you might want to go 30s if you're a little bit on the stronger side. Uh, you don't have to use that much weight at all, certainly. You could use 5s, 10s, whatever you're comfortable with. But I want you to feel it. I want you to work it. I want you to get it going on this workout. Okay, if you don't have that, you can use some water jugs. It's about 8 pounds per gallon. All right, if you want to fill those suckers up and use those. Some heavy soup cans, whatever you got. Anything to give you a little bit of resistance on this, all right? So uh, let's grab some water. We're gonna be doing that as well. On the board, I can show you what we have. We have four individual circuits today. Each circuit contains three moves. We're gonna be going from one to the next to the next with basically no break in between on those three moves. After each of those three moves, you're gonna get a nice 30 second break. And then we're gonna repeat that four times per circuit. And we got all that. And then at the very end, we have a two minute as many rounds as possible, two different moves in that two minutes to really burn it out, get that heart rate up, and finish this workout strong, all right? So get what you need, get your mind set. I'm gonna hit my timer, we're gonna start going. All right, here we go, let's do some jumping jacks. Let's get it warmed up, okay? We wanna get that heart rate up. It's definitely gonna be accelerated today after this workout's over. All right, way to go. That's it. Nice and easy way to break in sweat here, get into the routine. Good. All right, side to side punch, let's go. We're gonna be using the core a lot today. So you wanna get those obliques engaged. Squeeze that core every single time you punch to the side. Good, good. Very nice. Whew. Already feeling it. Nice, three, two, one. Let's go wide feet, hands out. Touch the toe across, come on up. Touch the other toe across. That's it, we're gonna get a couple of these in, get the hamstrings nice and loose here. All right, while we're getting that heart rate up. So again, three moves per circuit, then you get your 30 second break. We're gonna be going one, two, three through these moves very quickly today, all right? Basically no breaks. Down, sumo position, let's push out. Nice, side to side, side to side. Kick out that left leg, stretch that out. Good, over to the right side, same thing, good. Give me a couple of quick squats. Get that lower body warmed up. A little hop off the ground there. Good, some step back lunges. Trying to incorporate what we're gonna be doing today. All right, very nice. Let's get down into plank. All right, let's do a couple of quick push-ups. Give me uh, five push-ups here. For any of the push-up moves today, if you need to, go ahead and do them on your knees, that's fine. Right here, no shame in that, all right? And then push back into downward dog, pedal and stretch out those calves. So we'll be doing some plank moves today, some burpees, all kinds of stuff. Get it all incorporated in this great, fast, explosive hit workout. Good. Down, let's inhale up, exhale around the back out. Inhale up, exhale around the back out. Okay, I'm gonna go over the first three moves of you here. Grab my cheat sheet. First thing we have for you is a ground release push up, okay? So. What that means is you're gonna do a push-up as you come down, lift off the ground, pop back up. That's your first move, okay? Second move after that, we've got our alternating plyo jump lunge as we move. So we're moving, alternating 
plyometric back and forth. We're moving during the lunge. Last one we're gonna do is a low plank, alternating knee to elbow like this, okay? Just like that. So each move, 30 seconds. We got about 15 seconds before we're gonna get started here. I'm gonna put my uh, little cheat sheet over here. We're gonna get moving. Let's get into plank. Let's get going. Give it your all. I'm ready for you. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Down, bring it up, push it up. Down, bring it up, push up again. If you have to be on your knees for these, no problem. Okay? Now, what's, you know, when you come down like this, give yourself a little bit of a break, but at the same time, you're working the back of that core, lower back there, okay? We're not leaving anything out here. Good. Bring it up. We got 10 seconds. Good. Whew. Already feeling it. Come on. Three, two, one, up. Moving plyo lunge jump. Let's go. Just like that. That's it. Back and forth. You know, I'm going to try to do about four, maybe five in each direction before I switch back. Use the space you have at home or wherever you might be. Good. Halfway through. Come on. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to get down that low plank, bring that knee to the elbow. There's a modification on this. You can stay in that high plank, okay? Three, two, one down on your forearms. Bring it in. Bring it in. Good. Bring it in. Bring it again. Again, that modification up here is a little bit easier for you, okay? So you're here, or you're down with me, just like that. Good. Try to get that knee to touch that tricep or that elbow every single time. Good. Whew. Feeling this. Come on. Three, two, one. We're up. 30 second break. How are we feeling after one round? Rest it up. Round two, circuit one. We're going right back into it, okay? Starting with that ground push up. Gather that breath back. Let's get down. Ready for this round two? Come on. Fire it up here. Let's go. All cylinders firing here. Let's go. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Pushing up, popping up. Pushing up, popping up. Is that ground release? Okay. That's going to ensure full range of motion, okay? Like, you know, when these push ups, oh, I'm going to do a push up to here. No. All the way down, bang it up. That's it. Get that low back involved. Got to strengthen the core all the way around for optimal physical performance in life, okay? It's not all about the abs in the front, okay? Three, two, one, pop it up. Moving plyo, let's go. Plyo, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now I'm kind of going at a pretty even pace here. If you feel like you want to step it up and go a little faster, by all means, let's go, okay? Otherwise, do the speed that works for you, but challenge you to do at the same time, okay? No messing around here. Four, three, two, down into low plank, or high plank, whatever you prefer. One, two, okay? You notice the heart rate's up right now, huh? Check my watch here. 151 for me, all right? Two rounds in, feeling it, so I know you're working with me at home. Good job. Keep it going here. You can finish it out. Five, four, three, two, one. There's our time. 30 second break again. We got halfway through this first circuit. We're gonna go back in, do it again. Give it your all. You're getting to be a veteran at these moves now. All right, so focus, put your full energy into it. Let's get going. If you need a sip of water, take one. I'm gonna get one after this next round, definitely, all right? Ground release push-up. Let's get into it. Five, four, three, two, up in plank and go. Pop it up, let's go. So that 30 second break, just enough to get the heart rate down, you know, 10 or 20 beats per minute. And then we're popping right back into it. Okay, we don't wanna rest too much here. High intensity interval training, right? We're doing the intervals. We want to keep that intensity high. Of course, you need a little bit of rest. That's just the way it is. All right, those shoulders, chest starting to burn now. Three, two, one, pop it up at the plyo. Come on, plyo lunge, here we go. 
quick transitions here, okay? Smooth, quick transitions, but with purpose and safe, right? No need to start sort of like halfway in the middle. Get yourself set and then give it your all, okay? It's enough volume in this workout that you don't have to worry about missing a second or two. Come on, keep going. Four, three, two, one. Low plank, let's go. Almost done with round three here. Sir, round three is circuit one. That finish line seems like it's far away right now, but I'll tell you what, it's gonna come up fast on you, okay? We're moving through here. We've already been working out for about nine minutes. All right, come on. And five, four, three, two. Here's our time. All right, 30 seconds. You grab that water. You do the same thing at home. This will be our last round of this first circuit. And then we're gonna move into new moves. Grabbing that cup's probably the hardest thing I can do with this thumb right now. All right. Healing, it's been almost five weeks, so getting there. Three, two, one, here we go. Up, up. So, you know, you gotta give your bones time to heal, but do what you can do. Like, you know, I posted a lower body video a couple weeks ago because that's what I've been working on mostly. I've been working on cardio, like on a bike or a treadmill or plyometric moves. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, we're up. You know, and then I did what I could with the upper body, okay? So, jump these out. So this, you know, unless you're completely bedridden, you know, under doctor's orders, you can always find a way to exercise, all right? So, no excuses here. Get in there. If you wanna stay fit and be fit for life, you gotta make it part of your lifestyle. Okay, that's just it. Five, four, three, two. All right, last little plank. Alternating knee to elbow, let's go. Good, good. Whew. That's it, let me check that heart rate now. Where am I at? 158, a little higher than before. So that's a good zone for me. Come on. Ugh. Got that 30 second break coming up. I'll demo the new moves for you. Three, two, one, time. Excellent work. Quick demo. Get your weights, okay? Hold them out, first thing, floor dips, right here, okay? Floor dips, then we're gonna do a leg up, weighted toe reach, your legs are up in the air, holding one weight, pop it up like this. The last thing we're gonna do, be on the ground, into a chest press, okay? So we're gonna be staying down on the mat for this entire time, ready? Three, two, one, here we go. So, floor dips, 30 seconds, focusing on those triceps, all right? You want to make it a little bit harder, stick one foot in the air, all right? Focus the energy on the bottom of your palm, okay? That's going to hit those triceps more. All right, you can switch legs if you want to, or stay here. A little bit easier. The further your legs are out, the harder it is. The closer it into your butt they are, the easier it'll be. Three, two, one. We're down. Grab one weight, pop it up. Let's go. Reach for those toes, okay? You know, when your legs are as long as mine, it's kind of hard to get to those toes. But reach as far as you can. Try to increase that range of motion with every single repetition. Good. Come on, 10 seconds. You got this. Going into those chest presses after this. Three, two, one. Come on down. Grab your other weight safely up. Full range of motion. Elbows touch the ground, okay? That's it. You just want to feel them touch. You don't want to rest there. Just know that they've been touching the ground. That's going to give you the full range of motion. That way you know you're getting the most work in, okay? You don't want to stop here like this. You want to all the way down. Give a nice stretch from that pectoral muscle. Good. Four, three, two, one. There's our 30 second break. Now you notice my head's not 
on the ground. Sometimes that headset gets in the way, but you put your head on the ground for that safety, okay? Make it a little bit better for you. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna move right back into those floor dips again. You guys are doing great. Round two, circuit two. Let's get going back down again. Come on. All right. Get those dumbbells positioned closer to your body. If you don't wanna use the dumbbells, you can just use your hands, no problem. Three, two, one. But we got the dumbbells here, and if you use them, you'll get a more of a range of motion because your hands are up higher from a starting point, okay? So I started in closer to my butt. I want a little more resistance here, a little harder. Move my feet out. Good. Move it out a little bit more. Really want to feel that burn. Good. 10 more seconds like this. You can do it. Then we got that leg up. Weighted toe reach. Come on. Come on. Three, two, one. Set your weight aside. Grab that one weight up. Legs in the air. And, and pulse. Come on. Pull. So we're giving that core a workout here. Okay? Try to point those toes towards your forehead. That'll increase the difficulty for you. Come on. Keep pulsing. 10 more seconds. You can do this. Ugh. Three, two, one. Let's go. Grab that other weight. Presses. Come on. That's it. That's it. Now, 30 seconds, you know, is a long time. Maybe to do chest presses. Some people do like, you know, five, six, seven, eight reps, maybe. Just trying to build muscle, get strong. You add those reps and you're gonna feel that burn in 30 seconds, I guarantee it. All right, you pick the right weight. If you need to, up your weight a little bit. Or you can drop it down, three, two, one. 30 seconds. Stay down here on the mat. How we doing, all right? We're getting there, halfway through the second round. That means we're almost halfway through this workout. How fast is that going for us today, all right? Keep up that good work. Heart rate's dropped down a little bit on this one in the 140s, but we're still up there, okay? We're gonna get back and do some more crazy plyometric moves, get that heart rate accelerated. Right now, we're trying to hit that muscular endurance, okay? Let's get it up there. Three, two, one, let's dip it out, come on. Dip, 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 that's it. So if this is your first time with us on this channel, welcome. And uh, don't forget to check out all the other workouts we have in here. We've got a ton of workouts. Keep you busy for a long, long time, all right? And then when you're ready for the real deal and you're ready to work out at the top level of your game, you hit us on ripdism.com, all right? Good. Four, three, two, one. And there's a, uh, pop those legs up. Let's go, let's go for that pulse reach. Let's go. There's a free intro workout on the website or the app. You can download the app too. And Try that free intro workout on there, okay? That'll give you an idea of what you're gonna be up and in for, okay? Um, we have lots of different types of training on there. You know, we have our typical weightlifting training, we have plyometric, we have metabolic conditioning, body weight training, a lot of different workouts on there, a lot of programs to get you in great shape. Four, three, two, one. Let's pop that back right up into that chest press. Let's go, come on. That's it, so we're losing like, you know, two, three seconds here as we transition between the moves, but that's okay. Squeeze that chest on the top, all right? Squeeze those pecs together, all right? Focus and think about the muscle group that you're using here. We got mainly chest, we got shoulders involved too though. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. There's our rest, there's our break. All right. Round four coming up already, wow. That was fast, round four, or, sorry, round four of circuit two. All right, so we're almost halfway through this workout. Minus the uh, quick two minute bonus at the end there, which might be the hardest part of this workout. We'll see how that goes. So we're gonna be right back into those floor dips again. Then we got all new moves coming up after our 30 second break. Okay, give it to me strong. There's one last time here. Let's get those dips in. Come on, three, two, legs out, one, dip it out. Go, go, go. So no matter what you're looking for, fitness-wise, we got it covered on this channel, and we got it covered on Riptism. So if you can't find it there, I mean, other than maybe like strongman training, you know, <laughs> it's there, okay? So let's keep going here. That's it. You got five seconds of dips left. Come on, you got it in you. Four, three, two, one, boom. Grab that weight 
Let's punch it up, all right? No excuses today. I want you giving it your all, all right? I'm, pretty, I'm just happy that I'm able to use my thumb again to hold things. It was kind of difficult learning how to do everything with your left hand. I did have, I did have to do that when I was younger. I had a bunch of separated shoulders on my right side, so I had a little practice in it, but it was hard, you know, this much later in life learning all over again. Three, two, one. So I'm glad some of that's come back. Let's grab it for those chest presses. Let's go. All right. And hopefully this will be the last time you hear me talk about it. All right. Let's go. Keep pressing. Keep going. Come on. That's it. Squeeze on top. Keep that burn going. I know it's burning now. I know it's burning. Just push through. If you have to take a one second break, whatever it might be, that's fine. But you only got five seconds left here. You can finish it out. Come on. Three, two, one. There's our 30 second break. Let's go to those new moves. All right. Dumbbell overhead reverse lunge. Take your two dumbbells or one, whatever you're comfortable with. Up overhead, alternating step back lunge. Okay. Good. After that, bent over row. Sorry. We're gonna do supination curl on a lunge. So you'll be lunging while curling, and then we're gonna be doing a squat, leaving the weights on the ground, jumping, squatting again. So let's get those weights overhead. Three, two, one. We're moving so fast here, I can barely fit the moves in. But you follow along with me, okay? I got two weights overhead. All right, so I'm holding 40 pounds overhead, and we're doing alternating step back lunges. Now this move, you know, is a little difficult, so maybe, if you can't do two weights overhead, you hold one, or you hold one weight right here if you're not comfortable, okay? Here's your other option. All right, I'm gonna finish out this way. We only got five seconds. We're going into supination girl, three, two, one. Pick up the other weight, right leg forward, left leg back in that lunge position. Curl up, pop those pinkies up, okay? Curve it out. You're gonna feel it. We're working the leg here. We'll put the left leg forward next time. And we're killing those biceps, curling up, keeping those elbows close into the body. Come on, 10 more seconds like this. I feel that burn coming on. Then we got our squat, the squat jump. Three, two, one, stand, feet shoulder width apart, squat, leave those weights in the ground, jump it up. Grab, come up, squat down, jump it up, okay? Squat, bring it up, squat down, jump it up. All right, so we're just alternating in between a weighted squat and a squat jump. Good. Up, down, squat jump, down, up, squat, squat jump. Good. Three, two, one. We got our 30 second break. Going back to the top again. Whew. Let me catch my breath here. Overhead with those alternating step back lunges, reverse lunges, whatever you want to call them. Let's get our weights ready. Again, this workout is just, we're moving fast, okay? Don't have a lot of time for excuses. Don't have a time to rest. We got a life to live. We got work to do. Come on, three, two, weights up, one, go. Now, if too much, if, if weight, any weight at all, is too much for you, then just do this without weight, okay? But really focus on the movement. Don't go too fast. I want you to engage each and every single one of those leg muscles, hamstrings, quads, glutes, as you're going down and up. Good. That's it. So this move requires you to tighten your core as well. Three, two, one. Leave that left leg forward, right leg back. Let's curl. Good. Curl. Nice. That's it. Pop it up. Supinate it out, okay? That's gonna make that bicep pop. It's gonna make it burn. As long as you keep those elbows tight into the side. Good job. Way to go. Very proud of you for making it this far in the workout. Stick with me. Three, two, one. Feet apart. Squat down. Leave the weights. Jump it up. Come on up. Squat down. Jump it up. Pick them up. Lay them down. Okay, that's it. 30 seconds like this, total. All right, we only got about 10 left here. Come on. Five, four, three, two, time. 30 second break, 
Going on around three, circuit three. Come on, little hands to knees here while I recover. Gather my energy, gather my strength. Somebody turned the heat on in my house really high. It's like a thousand degrees up here right now. Oh. All right, let's get back into those overheads. Come on, four, three, two, one, overhead, step back, good. In the uh, new studio, no matter what the temperature is outside, no matter how cold it is, I can't get that thing above 65, so I won't have to worry about too much heat in that place. That's for sure. Okay. I'm excited to use it though. Spent a lot of time fixing it up, making it look right. So hopefully be in there very soon for you. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Right leg forward, supinated, yeah. So took me a lot longer than I anticipated to do it because again I broke my thumb and I couldn't really use a saw for a while or anything, so cutting wood was kind of hard. But anyway, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into that thing. So we'll debut that for you soon. Come on. Five, four, three, squeeze it out. Two, one, shoulder width apart. Let's go, squat it down, leave them there. Jump it up, squat, bring it up, squat, jump it up. Here we go. I know you're starting to feel that burn now. Good. 10 more seconds like this, come on. You can do it. I know you can. Five, four, three, two, one. There's our 30 seconds. One more round around three, okay? I'm looking outside and thinking to myself, I got a lot of shoveling to do today too out there. So that's gonna be part of my cardio. Whew. We had about 20 inches of snow couple weeks ago and I think I burned like 2,500 calories in a day shoveling. That wasn't right. Okay, let's get those dumbbells overhead. Up, three, two, one. Okay. That's it, keep that core tight. All right, focus on trying to keep those arms straight, but don't lock them out too much. You wanna have a little bit of give in there. So that way, for some reason, the weight was to fall. You can control it. And bring it down easily, okay? Still got that weight up overhead. That's it. Five, four, three, two. Time. Left leg forward, right leg back. Supination. Curl. Good. So we're not just standing around curling. Kicking that lower body into gear too. Keeping that heart rate high. Okay, you start activating large muscle groups like the legs while doing other activities here, that heart rate's gonna remain high, no question about it, especially leading into squats. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one in this round, come on, squat. Lead the weights, jump it up, pop it up, drop them down, squat, drop those weights far enough away from you so that when you jump and you come back down, you don't hit them, we don't want you rolling an ankle or anything. All right, I've had enough injuries. I don't want any more. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, new round. Coming up. What do we got? Squat, upright row. So, I want you to squat, come down, roll it out to the side. That's move one. Second move, bent over row. You hold the left arm the whole time. You row with the right, and then we switch to the other side. Three, two, one. So squat, row it out wide, okay? Squat, row it out wide. Some people like to do upright rows here in the middle. I'm more of a outward row person. Really focuses on the back of the shoulders, and you don't, have the potential for injury that way as, as much as the other way, okay? So I'm a fan of the wide. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so, bent over. 
You will hold that right one. Okay, and row with the left for 30 seconds. You keep that right one nice and taut up all the way here. You're gonna start to feel that burn while that left one is working, okay? And guess what's gonna be tired when we switch to the other side? Both lats, both shoulders. <laughs> Three, two, one, come up for a second. Regroup, hold that left, roll with the right. Good. So now we're just switching it. Switching sides, okay? Nice. Bend to the knee. You want like a 45 degree angle on the bend over. That's good. That's it. Come on. Go. Go. Four, three, two, one. Bang, okay. I think I have my timer switched. This probably says new round on it right now, but we're already into that new round. Disregard that. Just know we got a 30 second break here. I'm going right back into that squat upright row. All right. Again, you can, you can squat here and come up in the center if you want to, but I prefer going out to the wider to the side. It's up to you. That's just my personal preference. Three, two, one. I think a lot of that comes from, you know, kettlebell work, which is, you know, more like that. So for me, it's more effective. I feel it more in my shoulder that way than I do trying to roll up narrow like that. Okay, so but you pick what works best for you. We're still going here, we're still squatting. We're still pulling. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bent over row. Hold that right. We're rowing with the left. Good, this is round two now. Come on, keep pulling. That's it. A little bit of a bend in the knee. Take that pressure off the lower back. Stay safe. And I want you rowing every single pull, keeping that right one up high. Keeping it close into your body. Come on. Three, two, one. A little bit of a break. Come up, hold that left. All right, we're doing static here. And we're moving at the same time. All right. That's it. Got our rest coming up here. Keep going, you got another 10 seconds to make this happen. Keep going. Halfway through this one, this last round, three, two, one, put them down. Let's go, we're really cranking on the shoulders and the back in this one, okay? Whew. Pulling, pulling, pulling. 30 second break here. Circuit four, halfway done. You're doing amazing. Stick with me here. Keep burning. I know we're getting to, towards the end here. And I know you're feeling it, so I am too. Trust me. Let's get back into that squat upright row. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Squat it down. Up. There we go. This is all about rowing and bending our legs in this round, right? We're using two big muscle groups here. Back, legs, shoulders. We got a back and legs workout called Back Breacher and Rip This One. Check that out if you want to know about the hardest workout known to man, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Get set into position, hold that right. Row with that left. Okay, let me face this way a little bit more for you here. Good. That's it. So I know that that's burning right now. And I, I think the right side's burning more than the left at this point. That static hold gets it done every single time. That's it. Five, four, three, two, up. Quick break, reset, hold it left, row with the right. Come on. After this, we got one more round for that AMRAP, okay? That AMRAP's gonna finish it out for us. Good. Boom. Five, four, three with each pull. Two, one, there's our break. Put them down 30 seconds. 
Oh, I'm gonna get the hands up in the air. Pulling that pull-up bar a little bit, stretch it out. I'm feeling it now. Whew. Oh, traps, lats, everything's lit up right now. I'm on fire. Come on, 15 seconds left. It's your last round of the main workout. All right, what do you got? What do you got? Then we got 30 seconds. We're gonna hit that AMRAP hard, finish this thing. Let's go. Three, two, one. Here we go, squat it out. Upright row, squat it out. Upright row, good. That's it. Boom. Pull it back, squeeze it on top. All right, make it count. All right, it's not necessarily the heaviest weight, but it's how you use it that counts here. Keep going. Whew. Four, three, two, one. Let's get into position. Hold that right, roll with that left. Good. Let me face this way for you, okay? There we go, I haven't been this way yet. I'm missing this side of the room. Good. That's it. Come on. That's it, 10 more seconds. You can do this. Four, three, two, one. Switch it over. Hold that left, pull with that right. I'll switch sides for you. Good, come on. So we get that static hold going there and we're pulling, and we're pulling. 30 second rest coming up. All right, then we have two minutes to give it our all here. Two different moves. We're gonna use, we're gonna do thrusters and we're gonna do chest drop burpee, okay? Four, three, two, one, here we go. So let me demo these for you quickly. All right, just gonna recover for 10 seconds. Catch my breath. We're moving right into this. Thrusters, five, and then five. The whole way through, five moves, five moves the whole way through. So thrusters are like this. Squat down, punch those weights overhead, okay? The burpee, you're just gonna go down, burpee position, drop that chest to the ground, pipe right back up. Five and five, let's go. Three, two, one, here we go. Two, three, four, five. Set them down on your side. Let's go. One, come on up. Chest to the ground. Two, three, four, up, five. Good. Take those weights up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Lay them down. And burpees it. Chest to ground. Let's go. One. Okay, little hop. Two. Up, little hop. Three. Come on up. Four. Come on. Five. All right. No stopping now. Pick up those weights. Let's go. Up thrusters. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. Down. Let's go. One, two, three. Come on. Four, 20 seconds left. Come on, let's get what we can. Thrusters, thrust it out. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Lay them down, as many burpees as you can. Whew. Three, two, one. That's it. Let's cool it down. Wow, let's stay on our knees here for a second. Quick two minute cool down, we'll finish it out. You guys crushed it. Thank you so much for working out with me today, all right? Come on, let's stay down. Let's just go back into that child's pose. Whoo, try to regain some of that breath right now. I'm up pretty high, 174 I'm at, okay? And I've come down a little bit, so that was a high heart rate, definitely. Let's reach over to the left. 
right hand on top of the left, stretch out that lat, good. Same thing, right hand over left hand on top, boom. Nice. Good. Curls today, right? Hands behind you, pointing backwards, sorry. And you lean back. Open up those forearms, open up those biceps, good. All right. Good, downward dog. Great way to stretch everything out in the lower body here on the back side, posterior chain. Pedal out the calves. Really push it there. We'll stretch it out good. Step it up. Roll up nice and slow. Good, shoulders on fire today. Definitely. Circling forward. Good, circling back. Nice. Circling forward. Circling back. Hands up. Pull wide with the chest, okay? Circle it up, pull wide with the chest. Good, let's open that up. Hands pointing up, open. That's it, lean forward as you open. Good. One more time. That's it, okay. Neck to the right. Good stretch there, neck to the left. Bounce it out a little bit. That's it, three, two, one, if you feel like you need a little bit more cool down, go ahead and keep stretching. Otherwise, thanks again so much for signing on today to XFA Fitness. You guys crushed it. I'm so proud of you. I'm welcoming you back to my first dumbbell workout again. And I'm so happy that you were here with me. And uh, again, check out riptism.com, best shape of your life, all right? I know it keep pounding into your head, but you gotta see the amazing results people are getting on there. They write us every day. So I want you to be involved with that too if you can, all right? Otherwise, I'll see you guys very soon for the next one. So stay safe, stay good, and stay fit. See you soon.